Hi guys, it's Amy of Theme to Plan, and I am here with a video updating you on my November budget. So you can see here that I have my Franken Planner for the month of November. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description box so you can watch uh, me set up what I have here um, with the Papillon disc and covers and like all the sections that I have in here. But what we're going to be doing today is going into the budget section um, so that way I can set my November budget. Now, um, I haven't done a budget video in a while and honestly, I really feel that I haven't done a budget video in a while um, just because, you know, October was one of those months where I just kind of like was a little bit lax with putting together my budget. And so I was just kind of spending, maybe not like crazy, but like there were a lot of things happening. And so I could really tell that I needed to check in more often. So with that being said, though, I'm going to start here with this bills page that I made. Um, one of the things that I do have here for November is a monthly layout. And so we're going to be setting that up together. Um, but one of the things that I don't use is the monthly spread. Um, and so the monthly spread is like this. Um, normally it's a divider um, <clears throat> or like the, the first part of the month is on the back of the divider and then it will just kind of go into the pages. Um, but because I am using a set of dividers for the entire year um, that are from like a different undated planner, I didn't want to write on this side. And so I'm not using the monthly spread for that reason. Um, and so I have created um, like several months back this like bills tracker um, where I can just track all of the bills that are coming out. Um, and so I have my mortgage, which is $1,200 our T-Mobile and internet, which is combined. Um, and so that's 160. And in fact, this month, November, will be when we um, start adding a separate like kind of fee to our T-Mobile bill just because um, I did buy a new phone, yay. Um, and so that fee will be built into our um, into our price um, starting this month. So I don't actually know the price. And so this will change. Um, and I won't worry so much about updating it here for 2021, but definitely for 2022, I need to update the budget. So that way I'm including that fee um, that's being added every month to our bill um, for the next year or two. Um, then I have electricity, gas, and water. These are the three variable bills that we have. Um, and so I don't know the exact dollar amount. Um, what I do is just write it in pencil um, when we do get the bill. Um, and so then I can just track how much um, each bill is um, across time. Um, but I do budget for this area like $315, which is way more than we need. Normally it's like around $250. Um, and so I do set aside $350, $315. So that way we have more than enough for this these three bills, the utilities. Then we have our security bill, which is $73 a month. Our, our pest control, which I... Um, it's a mix of like monthly service as well as like the one single payment for termite control. Um, and so it's 135 uh, per month, which is super expensive. I feel like we need to be able to get that down. But anyway, um, pest control. And then our lawn care service, the people who mow our lawn, um, we budget $45 for that every month. Um, and um, we actually, um, my husband left a note. He left a note on the fridge saying that we owe um, our our guy, um, $100 for two cuts. So I know we have money in the bank to cover this. We just set aside $45 a month. And so we have about, I think, $300 in this sinking fund um, to pay this bill. So we just need to pay that bill. Our guy, Roland, is actually super nice to be able to like let us go into like, not debt, like like for us to like owe him money um, and still come out and, and, you know, take care of our lawn and then just like be kind enough to like let us pay whenever we're actually at home. He comes a lot of times when we're not here. And so he doesn't get his payment. Um, and I'm not quite sure why he doesn't communicate more with my husband and just tells him so that way my husband can leave a check. But anyway, um, that's between my husband and <laughs> Roland apparently. Um, but anyway, we hope we do owe him some money, but um, we budget $45 a month and we sometimes use a little bit more than that. Some, some months, like especially in the winter months, we don't get service at all. And so that money just kind of builds up across the year. Um, and so we do have enough money for that. Um, every month I pay for Dropbox. So that way um, I can make sure that all of my files are in the cloud and I'm not losing anything. So that's $12 a month. And I do the same thing for Google. Um, so that way I can save my Google photos. Um, and that's $2 a month. Um, and then there's just a blank box here. Um, and, you know, we used to have Netflix, Hulu, um, all of those services, but we've canceled all of that. We've canceled cable. All, all of that has been deleted um, in terms of just the technology and the subscriptions that we use. Um, but um, maybe eventually we'll go back to having something like that. I just personally don't use those services as often um, as I feel like 
I would need to use it in order to justify the price of paying for it. So anyway, right now we just don't have any of that. So that is bills. I created this sheet um, a while back, but I did just want to like run through all the numbers here. Um, and again, what I do here is just kind of check um, each month, like right in the, in pencil, the like amount here in this variable area, and then just check off the paid box. Um, and then what I do just like, you might be curious for like how this works if I'm using it every month, I then just make a copy of it um, and then erase everything and just use it back in here. Um, and so that's how it works. So I have a track record of it for the, like all of 2021 or actually not all of 2021. I did this in like August, I think. So from August onward and it's been working out. So I may continue that um, or in 2022, um, the plan is to actually use a monthly spread. So this information might go onto a monthly spread for 2022. Still working out some of the 2022 stuff. So um, these should be like this, um, but since this is kind of like a, that bills sheet, I don't want to tape down anywhere. Um, you know, I, I will just flip over a couple of pages. Um, so what we're going to do now is jump here into what the Happy Planner calls the dashboard page uh, for the monthly layout. Uh, you can see here that it is for December. So it's like an outdated stargazer um, layout. Um, and so I'm just going to use it just because I had it in my stash. I just want to be able to use it up. Um, and so what I'm going to do on this dashboard page um, is this is where my um, tab is going to live. Um, and I'm going to use this to like kind of flip to this and just kind of check in with my budget every once in a while. Um, and the goal is to, um, in these sections to basically, you know, just put the date, um, and then make a list of all of the expenses. Um, and then I'm hoping in November that I'll be a little bit more, um, responsible and accountable to just myself and to like recording the videos and just checking in a little bit more frequently. So I'm thinking of doing either weekly or every other week, just doing a check-in where I'm just updating all the numbers um, and just having a spot where I can just like list out the categories and kind of what my to total is um, at that point. But for me, um, I get paid once a month. And so I set the budget for the entire month and just kind of let it roll over. Uh, but I've been watching a bunch of bit budget videos where even if, you know, we're setting the budget at the beginning of the month, it, it's helpful to check in weekly just so you like, so that I can have like an idea of where my money has been kind of like going um, week by week instead of just waiting until the end of the month and then realizing I've been like $200 over in a certain category for like the entire month and I didn't realize it. So I'm hoping the weekly check-ins can really help me kind of rebalance my budget and get back on track with that. With all that being said then, what we're gonna be doing in this video is basically putting out putting together this dashboard with my categories, my monthly budget for November. Um, and then with the weekly check-ins, I will be filling in the daily task pages with you. Um, and I may or may not do a closeout video. Um, and so the goal is to do a closeout. At least I will do a closeout. I might may or may not record it, but here's the, th these are the pages where I'm thinking of doing the closeout uh, and just kind of re review of the month. So anyway, that's just the plan. This is my very first time using the monthly layout. So it's going to be a work in progress in terms of what will work or not work for me. So um, this is, this is December. So I went ahead and pulled some dates um, so that way I can cover up this little section right here. Um, but I'm also realizing that, you know, like it will, should I just like cover right over it or should I like kind of cover this whole area? I think I will cover that whole area with some white paper just to start things off. Um, I'm going to glue this down. I'll trim this a little bit. Actually. I don't need to be quite so big. Um, and so I'm going to just glue this down right here. I'm going to go ahead and cover over this quote as well. All right, so let me take this off and trim this off. Um, I got rid of that quote, so I'm going to replace it with a different quote. I have plenty of stickers. I can definitely do that. I hate that I'm losing some of the like stargazer look, but you know, you got to do what you got to do when you're using what you got in your stash. Um, so I'm going to back in and make sure it's glued down pretty well. Okay. And then I have this November right here, gold foil. I love it. Super cute. All right. I'm just going to stick that right there. 
And then I have, I'm going to put these dates back. Back up in my box. I'm trying to be a little bit more, like, just, just making sure that I put things back up. <laughs> my space is a mess right now. So I have not been good about putting things back up. But I'm just flipping through this just to see if there's anything that just jumps out right away as, like, something that would go with the purple here on the page. Um, and I'm not really seeing anything, like, too awesome. So I might just go with this, like, celebrate every tiny victory. This is a super old quote. I, I think this is like from the original quotes book, like the super old quotes book. Um, it's like very old, very, very old. Um, and I'm just going to like cover up. I'll leave the, like the little flag design right there and we'll just do it like that. And honestly, I'm okay with the rest of that. I might go back in and just kind of decorate it a little bit, but it's also meant to be a functional planner. So it could just be kind of empty for right now. So let's go through then. Um, and let me see again, like this is the first time I'm using the monthly layout. So I'm not really sure where things should go. Really, the only thing that I want to have on here is a section for my, um, like my daily cash envelopes, the ones that I carry in my wallet, um, and then my sinking funds. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I should just use these two sections. Um, and then the rest of it can kind of be decorative. Um, so yeah, let me do that. Okay, so for this section, let me let me get rid of the check it off. Let me go into headings. Um, I'm just looking for something just to cover the check it off. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'll just leave it. It's not like super important that it's covered. And these are all very like They're very functional, the, the ones in, in the, here. All right, I'll leave it. It's fine, it'll be fine. Okay, so I might change my mind there. All right, so the first one right here is going to be food. So food for me covers groceries, eating out, um, and then like I also put in here like any household expenses like toilet paper or things like that. Um, and so for the month of um, November, I have been like way over um, in this particular category. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 200. That is the goal is to try to keep it within 200. Um, I, I have been like over, like eating out has been crazy. So again, like trying to hold myself a little bit more accountable. Maybe I'll come um, in with like weekly check-ins and hopefully be able to like scale down that number in the next uh, couple of weeks. Um, so gas um, every month gets $75. This will probably uh, need to go up. Um, gas prices are ridiculous right now, um, but I only fill my tank like every other week um, and that should be enough to like kind of like <laughs> be running on fumes by the end of the month. But again, that might have to go up um, in the next couple of um, months, weeks. All right. Um, Sophia gets $20 every month um, for her allowance. Um, health is what covers like um, any like prescriptions or medications, um, co-pays, all of those things. Um, and so health gets $10 every month, um, which is definitely not enough. Again, like these budgets for 2022, I'm definitely going to be like shifting. Um, and one of the things I did for 2021 was try to keep with like the same amount for the entire year. And I'm just realizing I need to be more flexible. Um, like it, it can change um, as my needs change. Um, so anyway, these categories um, and the dollar amounts will definitely be changing across time. Um, the next here for my like everyday carry, like my daily cash envelopes is home. And home covers like home decor, decorations. Um, we've been doing a lot of like fall theming and Halloween theming, Christmas decorations, those types of things. Um, and so for that category, we are putting in $15. Um, and I'm really thinking like some of the expenses that I have in food with like household products um, should be coming out of home as well. So it's going to be like both sides of it, like just the decorative stuff and also all the functional stuff like making sure we have toothpaste and, you know, toilet paper. Um, so like that will shift and hopefully that will help some with the food budget. Um, next is going to be um, my dreaded planners category. Um, and so planners every month is... Um, for the 2021, I've been doing a no spin for planners, and so it doesn't get budgeted any money. What I have to do is um, sell off, de-stash enough of my planner supplies to earn money in order to add to that um, to that category. Um, and so I spend money when I make money. Um, and so those are my six categories um, that I have for my daily, like or like my wallet carry. So that is 
those six. And then I have a series of like sinking funds. Um, now for both cap, both sets, like this set, as well as my sinking funds, um, I do a rolling basis where like if money is under or over, I just roll it over until the next month. Again, that might change for 2022. Um, but for sinking funds, um, definitely I'm trying to save a lot more money in food. I tend to have like maybe 10 or $15 left and I just roll that over into the next month. Um, but for sinking funds, I'm hoping to like build each of the sinking funds up to a certain dollar amount. Um, and like there's a certain like point in time where I'm hoping to use that money, but it's not like a, an every day I'm using something out of these, um, cash envelopes or out of these categories. Um, so for these um, sinking funds, then I have a beauty category. This beauty category um, was something that, that I added um, in 2021, just because, you know, it's my 40th birthday year. I just wanted to be able to like have some fun with like beauty. Um, but in 2022, probably going to be going away um, or like definitely it's going to be reduced. Um, but um, certainly I'm thinking about just combining it with some of the other categories um, and just giving myself fun money uh, for 2022. Um, but beauty gets $200, which, you know, again, like I keep looking at this and this is ridiculous compared to some of these, but you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to survive for the last two months. Um, so car is car maintenance. Um, and so car maintenance gets $75 every month. Um, so that is that one. Education is what pays for my professional fees. Um, and so um, I need to be able to get my licensing and, you know, just do professional development, continuing education. Um, and so that gets $30 every month. Gifts pays for all of the gifts that I purchase, including Christmas. Um, and so certainly like we have hopefully enough money in this right now to be able to buy things like Christmas gifts. Um, and so gifts gets $100 every month. Um, next is going to be house. Um, and the, this is like house improvement or like house repairs. Um, so just saving up for in case like something breaks and we need to replace that item. Um, and so for house, we have um, $300 every month. Um, this was something where I didn't actually budget for this. And so in like October, August, September, I can't remember the month. It's not October, but like in a recent month, we got hit with like a giant bill. Um, and so for the past couple of months, I've been like trying to like steadily build up this particular um, category. So that way we have some money to pay for these ex unexpected sudden expenses. All right, music um, is a category that I feel like is super personal to me, um, but I sing in several choirs. And so we buy our sheet music for music. Um, and so I set aside $10 each month. So that way um, at the two points in time, two points in the semester where I purchase music, I have enough money for that. And again, this will probably be collapsed in with like beauty, um, music, um, like probably like planners, those will all be collapsed in 2022, probably into like a single like Amy category where I'm just like being able, I'm able to use my own money for whatever I want to. Um, so that's music. Um, then we have a school category. Um, school was what we were using to pay for Sophia's daycare, um, but now she's in public school. We are still um, for the year of 2021, just kind of like saving money or putting money into this category, um, but we will definitely not need to do this. Um, and right now it is $400 a month that we're putting in. So we'll have November and December where we're saving up another $800. Um, and then in 2022, we can just kind of reassess where we probably have enough money saved for all of 2022, like to be able to pay for like after school care, um, to be able to pay for any extracurricular activities that she wants to do that we have enough money in there um, to kind of do that. So like definitely there's going to be like a year a yearly review of our entire 2021 budget just to kind of see if this number needs to change. But this will be a huge chunk of money that I can kind of like disperse to some of these other areas. Like definitely I want to be able to increase like health for sure um, and have more money for some of those things. Okay, so that's school. The next one is travel. Travel gets an odd dollar amount, which is 105 each month. Um, and so this category is to save for vacations. Um, for when I travel, I like to be able to cover all of the food, like actual gas money. And so I don't pull from these other categories for travel. Vacations are just kind of like its own separate thing. And so I save for pretty much everything um, in this category. Um, and we've been able to pay off um, several major trips in November and December, which I'm super excited about. Um, and so being able to take these vacations with this travel fund has been amazing. So definitely like budgeting has made a difference. Um, and then lastly is going to be one I put down a little bit further and that's my miscellaneous or 2021 spending. That's how I label it in my digital app. 
but this is a no spin is an unbudgeted category i just like to be able to categorize it um and know that i got hit with an unbudgeted expense um in my in my life um and so those are the current dollar amounts let me grab my phone so i can add these totals up every month um in addition to my bills for my envelopes or my categories i have 200 in food 75 in gas 20 for Sophia, 10 for health, 15 for home, zero for planners, 200 for beauty. Uh, car maintenance is 75, education is 30, gifts is 100, house repairs is 300, music is 10, school is 400, and then travel is 105. So for my envelopes, I put in $1,500, $1,540 into my envelopes every single month. Um, and so I'm going to put that dollar amount right here. And then for my um, my bills, um, it basically um, like totals up to be two thousand dollars. So if you're adding those together, that means that my budget every month is um, fifteen forty plus two thousand, uh, which is thirty five hundred forty dollars, three thousand five hundred and forty dollars. Um, and so that's what we budget every single month. Uh, and so again, like that's a large dollar amount to be able to just like budget at a single time and then be able to move um, throughout the entire month without like checking in a little bit more frequently. So my goal again is to try to do more regular check-ins. Um, I do use a cashless system. So it's just checking in with the numbers and not like counting money or doing any of those things. Um, but I find it helpful to watch the videos that I've been watching on, I've been binging budgeting videos um, and, you know, just having these numbers here. Right now it looks a little bit bare, so I'm going to go through and just decorate it and just have some fun with this page so that way I will enjoy looking at it. So I went ahead and sped up the video and went ahead and decorated it just so it looks pretty. I'm super excited about it. Um, I just think it looks fun and I will love opening up to this page and being able to see it. Um, I decided to use Jasmine and then pull from like all over the place for like some stickers. So Stargazer, like a quote from Daydreamer, this is from Glam Girl. I have no idea where this is from. I put two boxes here just to note down two major events that we have um, that will require travel, um, which is Obviously, one of the goals that we have for budgeting is just to make sure that we are looking at and taking care of our uh, travel budget. Um, and so that is that. Um, and we have it right there. And I still haven't decided what to do with this trackers area um, and then this intentions area. I don't know. Um, but I think I'll just do some journaling at the very beginning of the month um, as a reflection for the beginning of the month and just like the overall picture here. Um, and the goal is at the very end of the month right here. Um, is to probably do a closeout of November um, and move into December. So anyway, I think that's the goal. I don't really know for sure, um, but that's what I'm intending to do at this point. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, bye guys.